What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to create a fully functionable calculator application from scratch. As you can see, this is our calculator. We have different buttons with different colors. We can do any calculation. Let's say 100 minus 60. In this way, it will show the equation over here. It will calculate the result in real time and all the functionality will work. We'll create this application with Jetpack Compose. So let's start building this awesome application with new Android Studio project. Select new project. Let's select empty activity that is Jetpack Compose activity. Click on next. Give the application name calculator. Select minimum SDK 8.0. Build configuration language. Let it be recommended one. Click on finish. Our project is created. Let's run and see either it is created correctly or not. So we can see hello Android. That means it is created correctly. Let's say hello to this hello Android and let's delete this composables. Also delete this greeting composable. Here we will add our composable. So let's create a new file. Select file, calculator. Let's create a composable here. Let's name it calculator. If you don't see this modifier parameter automatically coming, it's okay, you can add it. Or you can upgrade the Android Studio to latest version that is Jellyfish. I have already upgraded, so some features might be new. So don't forget to update it. Now from here, we'll call this calculator and we'll pass modifier modifier dot padding as inner padding that's it now here let's add box modifier equals to modifier whatever we have passed and here we can give text let's say calculator let's run and see so we can see text here now here we can design our calculator so instead of text i will use column and inside column i will add a text first text will come over here to show the equation let's say one two three plus one to three as of now if you see you can see over here horizontal alignment will be alignment dot end so that it will come an end modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size so it will come an end now let's style this text so style text style inside text style i will give font size as 30 sp let's import this and text align will be text align dot end i'll give max lines five and overflow let's give text overflow dot ellipsis if i run now you can see it will look like this now below this i will add another text to show the result so i'll copy this text paste it below here it will be result let's say 246 let's increase the size to 60 sp and max line let it be two and let's remove this overflow apply changes you can see the result text now below this i will add a space of around modifier dot height 10 dp and below this i will make a calculator so so here we have to create a grid view like we have created lazy raw lazy column in the same way we have lazy vertical grid lazy horizontal grid so we have to create that so for that we have to create a list of item so let's create simple list of buttons so let's say button list will be list of so here we will create a list of buttons. So let's say our calculator will have C bracket bracket end and let's say divide. Same way let's make 7, 8, 9, multiply 4, 5, 6, plus 1, 2, 3, minus and let's say AC button 0 dot equals to. So it should be a value not function. This is our button list which contain 20 buttons. Now here in the UI we will show it in a lazy vertical grid. So here lazy vertical grid here we have to pass columns columns will be it will be fixed columns so grid cells dot fixed we will have four column and inside scope we will pass items items will be button list it will give us each string let's give text composable and assign it to the text let's rerun you can see we have the grid of the calculator so we can design this text as a button so that it will act as button right now it is just a text so what we will do i will cut this out and create a new composable that will be calculator button we don't require modifier and paste it text here we'll pass button name button as string so here i will give btn and from here i will just call calculator button that will be it if i apply changes it will be same now here we can design our buttons let's create a box and in the box i will give modifier modifier dot padding around 8 dp here you can use button as well so in this way you can use button text and you can give like this if you run it you can see in this way we can add buttons but what i will use 
I'll use floating action button floating action button because it has some elevation effect so you can design this buttons as per your requirement on click let it be for now and we'll give here text it will be button if I restart you can see we have some shadow effect and it is looking good now what I will do I will increase the size of the button so here what I will pass modifier equals to modifier dot size around 80 dp let's restart it is looking good you can make this as a rounded corner but I want to make it circle so what I will do I will give shape it will be circle shape if I restart you can make like whatever you want now what I want to do I want to make different colors for different button for numbers I will give different color for brackets I will give different color for these operations I will give different color and C and AC also I will give different color we can pass here color container color at color dot let's say red you can see all the buttons are red I want to make the text inside it as white so content color will be color dot white now for this color I want to make it dynamic so let's make a different function let's say get color which will return color and here I will take button as a string and I will say if button equals to equals to C or if button equals to equals to AC then I will provide some color that will be color so I have one color code that I will provide XFF we have to give this and we can pass the hex color code so for this it is F44336 so it will be somehow red like this if button equals to equals to bracket start or button equals to equals to bracket end so what I will do I will provide gray color so gray now for the operations if button equals to equals to divide or if it is multiply if it is plus if it is minus and if it is equals to then I will return a color that will be somehow orange so I will give color code 0 x f f and the color code f f 9800 it will be like this and remaining are the numbers so, so for number I will do return color 0 x f f if 00 0 c 8 c 9 you can choose another color from here if you go over here you can choose any color from here but I will choose this one now I can call here instead of this red get color and pass the button you can see we have different color for different item let's increase the font size of the text here font size 20 sp now it is looking good if you want to make bold font weight font weight dot bold so it will look like this furthermore if you want to increase some font size it is looking good now I want to move this text and this lazy grid layout at the bottom so what I will do here after the first text I will give spacer modifier will be modifier dot weight one floating point if I do now it will go to bottom as you can see it is at the top here we have added the space now it is looking good let's increase the padding of the button around 10 dp now it is looking better now we have to add the functionality whenever we click any button it should call the function in the view mode so for that what I will do I will create a class that will be calculator view model it will extend from view model and here I will create a function that will be on button click which will take a string that will be let's say button here for now let's add a log statement clicked clicked button is let's say button now from the UI we have to call this method so what we will do first in calculator we will take view model also so view model calculator view model this view model we have to pass from main activity so here let's create a value calculator view model equals to view model provider owner will be this and class name will be calculator view model class dot java and here we can pass in this calculator as second parameter now here we got the view model with this view model we can call this on button click so how we can pass that in the floating action button we require on click so here in the parameter we will take one function that will be on click which will be of type function and it won't return anything so here instead of this we can do on click and here when we are calling calculator button now here we have to pass on click so on click equals to here we will do view model dot on button click and we will pass it as a string in this way it will call that method if I run now if you open your log cat and see here clicked let's see if I click 7 you can see 7 8 whatever you click over here it will show over there 
that means our button click is working correctly now here we can do the logic first i will create a string to make the equation like this which will be a mutable live data so let's say private value let's say equation text equals to mutable live data of type string we'll give the empty value for now and we'll expose this value as equation text as live data of a string type equals to it will return equation text so we'll expose this to the ui we'll create another string also to show the result so private val result text equals to mutable live data let's pass zero for now and result text will be live data of string it will return a result text so we have created two variables that we'll see in the ui on button click we'll add the logic one by one first let's add logic for c and ac so what we will do if button equals to equals to ac if it is all clear button has been clicked then we will remove everything from this text question text dot value equals to this but let's check if it is not null before doing anything so equation text text dot value if it has value then only we will do something so here cut it out paste it if we have clicked on ac button it will clear it will clear from here and also the result it will clear so result text dot value equals to let's make it zero and we'll return from here no need to go ahead second condition if button equals to equals to c if button is c then what we will do we'll clear one by one let's say we have one two three plus one two three we'll clear last element then again last again last in that way we will do so here we will again check if the equation text is not empty if it is not empty at that means we have some values over there so we can do equation text dot value equals to we'll remove the last element so how to remove we can do substring let's say from start to it dot length minus one so it will remove the last element then we'll return from here we have done for ac and c for equals to what we will do if button equals to equals to if it is equals to button we will just show this result over here in the equation so whenever user clicks on equal to we'll show the result to the equation that's it so equation text dot value equals to result text dot value and we'll return from here as well now we have done for c ac and equals to other element we have to concat to the equation let's say if we have pressed 9 then 6 it should be 96 then plus if you say 3 6 all should concat so what we will do if the remaining buttons are pressed then we can concat equation dot text dot value equals to whatever the equation has we'll concat button whatever we have clicked in this way it will concat every time when we click on any button it should get the result let's say 123 plus 123 it should get the 246 so for that we will calculate result for now we won't do anything first we'll test these buttons so we have added in equation text and result text let's see either it is working or not here what we will do log dot i equation equation let's say underscore equation text dot value to a string let's run and see either concatenation and everything is working or not get to log cat let's search for equation i have clicked 9 so you can see it is concatenated 996 minus 333 equals to it is not concatenating it will calculate the result dot so everything is working so concatenation is working so we can show this equation over here and we can show the result over here so how we can do that this we have to observe in the ui so in the ui what we will do we'll create two variables over here so first value will be equation text equals to view model dot equation text dot observe as state we don't have observe as state because we have to add the library so let's add one live data android live data runtime dependency you can go to this compose runtime and here below you can see the dependency select kotlin and copy this runtime live data dependency just this one runtime live data copy this go to app level builder gradle it should be and inside dependencies just paste it click on sync now so we have added the library you can go back to the ui here now we can see observe as state same way we will do let's duplicate this here it should be result text and a result text now instead of this one two three one two three what we can do over here we can show equation text dot value it might be null so if it is null then so empty same way here instead of this 246 what we will do result text dot value if it is empty then so nothing now if i run if i click some numerical buttons it is concatenating you can see over there 
9 plus 36 it is not calculating we have not added any logic for calculation c is working you can see these buttons are working divide all the buttons are working ac will clear everything and if you click on equal to this value should go over there if you click equals to it has gone so it is working the buttons are working everything is working just we have to add the logic for calculation now so for calculation logic what we have to do we have to solve the equation so whatever equation is there let's say 9 9 minus 2 plus 3 this is the equation we, we have to solve this so how we can solve we have one library Mozilla Rhino so you can click on this and you can go to this github page so this is the package we are using what i will do i'll provide you package in the description or you can type it from here as well so this is the package let's click on sync now now let's go to calculator view model so here we have to calculate the result we can remove this log statement let's create another method here function calculate result which will take a string equation as a string let's say and which will return the result as a string so it will just take the string and return the result string now here we will calculate so we have added the library we can use that first we need context it is not from our activity context we need the context from this library you can see org.mozilla.javascript we need this context so equals to context.enter now we have some steps we have to provide optimization level we have to set optimization level let's say minus one we'll need variable we'll need one variable scriptable import it from context dot in a standard object in this way it will return a scriptable now we will calculate the result so how we can do that context dot evaluate string we have the method evaluate string we have to pass a scriptable second value is source that will be our equation third thing is source name it will be javascript fourth thing we have to pass line number let's say one and security domain let's pass null for now we will get the result in this we'll convert it to a string dot to a string and we'll store it in a variable so final result equals to and we will just return the final result so this will calculate the result according to our equation and it will return the result that's it we have implemented the dependency code here what we will do calculate result we'll do try and catch there might be some error so try catch here we can pass exception we won't do anything on exception here in try what we will do we'll just calculate the result so we'll call calculate result we'll pass the equation text dot value dot to string and we'll just show in a result view result text dot value equals to this so whenever we click on any button it will solve this equation and show in a result view that's it if i run now let's say 10 equation is solved if i do minus 2 you can see 8 plus 5 it is added minus 1 if i click on equals to it will go at top and we can do like this so it is working one thing you can notice it is always showing decimal point so what we can do if it has dot zero we don't have to show it so here before returning final result what we'll do if let's say final result dot ends with dot zero if it ends with dot zero we'll remove that from final result so final result equals to final result dot replace we'll remove this with empty string let's make it variable value can't be reassigned let's make it variable now if i run you can see now dot zero is not coming but if it is decimal point then it will come so it is working as expected you can do all clear you can do clear so everything is working so one thing you might have noticed when i click on c it is showing c this should not happen so let's go to c if it is not empty it will do something it should not go beyond this if it is c so let's cut this out and paste return over here now if i run c won't come now so it is completed our calculator is completed let's see how it looks on dark mode it is looking good you can adjust the color and shape over here you can design your button as you want you can give the color as you want this is minimal design i have given so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye